Hey guys, just wanted to throw this quick video together. Uh, this is in regards to the suitcase trailer that I've been uh, kind of working on. And finally had a little light bulb go off and figured out how to get the uh, handlebars com compacted in so that it would actually work. Um, got back late last night from the uh, Irby grand opening of their new store, which looks awesome. If you guys are in the LA area, go check it out. Took the suitcase trailer down there and showed it to uh, some of the guys and uh, they were pretty excited. Sounds like they might have uh, something in the works themselves that'll be along the same line. So perhaps reach out to them in a little while and see if they've uh, made any progress on it. I definitely will follow up because if they do have a suitcase trailer like this with some Irby badging and things like that on it, I'll be very interested. But anyway, let's get to it. Let me show you what I did. Okay, so basically what this is, is a suitcase trailer by a company called Wicicle. It's a Samsonite bag that's been converted with brackets riveted on inside for uh, wheels that attach here and then a uh, handle that pops in there. I'll show you where that is. Everything's actually inside right now, um, including the wheels, the Irby, everything fits inside. It comes in, right now when I measured it, it was about 56, 57 pounds. So it's a little over what a normal check bag would be. So you'd have to pay that heavy bag fee. But uh, I think the wheels for the trailer have a lot to do with that. So I'm gonna start looking into smaller wheels, do a part two once I have the hitch mounted onto the Irby and everything. And I'll uh, get some video of me riding it around, pulling it behind me. But anyway, I'm gonna open it up here, show you guys uh, kind of how the Irby fits. It's got uh, little reflectors, casters. So it's a normal hard bag from Samsonite. Very nice, uh, very nice bag. Lockable latches, it's weather sealed. So it's got a nice seal and everything fits just inside. Let me do some close-ups. All right, so you can see here, it's got a nice little divider, a little pocket here actually, you can fit all your parts and tools into. Those two wheels will pop on the outside, I'll show you that in a sec. And then the Irby fits in there, folded up obviously, um, and the handlebars removed, and I'll show you how that works. Um, obviously the, the four bolts that will hold on both sides of the bars, and then I took uh, one of the bolts out of the center uh, to split the handlebar in half and then they kind of fold it over each other like that. So uh, let me pull it out and show you. Okay, so first of all the Irby coming out of here. The way it's in here I like to grab the handlebar with one hand, kind of just lift it out. Um, and you can see how I separated the handlebar here down the middle. Um, that would just obviously just pop back together and then go back onto the front of it. So I'm going to go ahead and get this out of the way and kind of show you how the trailer works. Okay, so with some of the parts out here, um, what we have are a set of bicycle wheels, little ones. Um, and then a tow bar. And these are the axle shafts that hold the wheels onto the, the frame. Little uh, tow hook for the Irby side of things. And these are what the quick releases look like. They're just your fairly basic quick releases. Um, as far as the bag goes, this bar here also comes out. And it is uh, held in place by those quick releases. One here, one here, and then the tow bar up here. When this comes out, there are some replacements, just little spacers that kind of take their spot so it's not a gaping hole. Um, other than that, let's see how it pops together here. So here are the, I guess you could call it the axle. Even though that's kind of what these little things are pop on like that, pretty quick. Actually, the hardest part of putting this whole thing together is getting these shafts in and out and then putting the quick releases on. Those take some time just to thread on. Um, what side is it on here? All the drops in there. Normally, you would uh, take the time and put that quick release on. And then the idea is just hitch that on via the mount and off you go. So, pretty nice bag. Got the uh, 
tool handle as any normal bag would. And it's built pretty well. I like the uh, quality that Samsonite provides and the company did a good job trying to conceal their modifications as much as possible obviously when you got something like this it's kind of tough but anyway that's the bag um, it's got all the locks there and everything else the reflectors on the bottom I think I mentioned that and uh, pretty decent bag but anyway if you are interested in something like this check out Wicycle's website I'll link it um, about $450 with shipping, depending on obviously where you are, but they're East Coast and I'm West Coast, so that's a pretty good hop. Um, if you're interested, comment, let me know what you think. I can uh, send some more details, um, maybe take some more pictures for you. Include that on our fan forum, which hopefully will be up soon. I'm working on doing a re restore on it. I had some uh, uh, domain issues, so I will get that up and running and post some pictures of that as well as some of the other projects I'm working on. One of them I'm really excited about. It'll probably be the most ambitious mod that I will do um, on the Herbie. So stay tuned, subscribe, share, and let me know what you think.